Hey there everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can create a realistic looking drop shadow behind text in Canva. Hey there, I am Kate Danielle and this is Coffee with Canva where I provide tips to boss ladies who are DIYing their graphics. So let's jump in and get started. For this tip, you will want to go ahead and have your design completely laid out without your drop shadow. Now, I will state that this hack is a little bit step intensive, so I really recommend saving this one for graphics that, um, or for staple graphics, graphics that are going to be around for a while, not something that you are creating weekly um, and have to do all the time, such as pens, even though this is a pen size I'm using in my example. So I have everything laid out and I'm going to put a drop shadow behind the word templates. So the first thing I want to do is make a duplicate copy. Now I'm going to be showing you how to do this in the free version of Canva and how to do this in Canva for work because there is one slight difference. But first you, on your copy you want to delete everything except for the word that you want to put the shadow behind. Once you do that, then you will want to turn your word to black or a dark gray. Now, in the free version of Canva, you will need to leave your background color, and a solid color really is the best way to do this. So I'm going to go ahead and download just this canvas with the word on it. And you do that by putting in the canvas number that you need. Now, for my Canva for Work people, you can go ahead and delete out that background, and you will download it as a PNG with a transparent background. And once your Word downloads, go ahead and upload it right back into Canva. And you can delete this canvas with your word. And now we're just left with our original design. So first I'm going to go with the free version of Canva which has the uh, background in it. And I'm just going to drag it on to my canvas. And it has shrank it a little bit so I'm going to resize it right back up to what it should be. There we go. And it went ahead and popped it into the back because anytime you cross all edges um, or get right on them, it turns it into a background, which is exactly what we wanted. We wanted that to replace the color background that was there. So now I'm going to come up to Filter. And I'm going to bring the blur all the way up. And actually I can see that that's too much, so maybe not quite all the way. Now I'm going to come and drag this down a little bit. And don't worry about that white area that's coming up on the edges. And I'm going to bring the transparency down a little bit and then see if we can go back in and replace the background color. And there you go. You cannot really see where it differentiates. Let me zoom in on that. Okay, you cannot see where this photo is ending and the other one is, is beginning, and we have a nice looking subtle little drop shadow behind the word templates. So now I'm going to delete that one out and show you with the Canva for work one, which we can barely see, but it's right here in this blank space. And I need to resize this one back up. Not really sure why it shrank it a little bit. There we go. Go ahead and send that to the back. All the way. And up in these little dots, it does not count your background color, so you can actually send it all the way to that last little dot. 
I'm going to do my blur just a little bit. I'm going to use my arrow keys to offset it. Bring my transparency down. And there is just a very subtle drop shadow. Now it is a little bit easier to work um, with the Canva for work when, when it comes to this hack because you don't have to uh, blend the background and worry about any of those things. Um, but they both work really well. And so I'm going to show you, there it is without it. I'm going to undo it and there it is with it. So it's very subtle and you can even um, keep playing around with that make it even more subtle. So there again, very subtle drop shadow and without it. Again. So these little subtle things can really amp up your Canva designs and um, really make it look like something that wasn't made in Canva at all, which I love to do that in Canva. I love Canva, but I love to make things that don't look like they were made in Canva. If you would like to see how to do a realistic drop shadow behind shapes and images, um, check out the next video and make sure you subscribe to my channel for more Canva tips like this.